Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and this is tutorial number 38 and in this tutorial we are going to continue looking at part 5 of our basic website layout mini series. Okay, so hopefully you guys watched the previous videos, hopefully you've got pretty much all of this code and um, if you guys can remember correctly we actually left off with the web uh, that looked kind of like uh, this. So uh, we had our logo, the bar, um, I mean all the stuff and this really ugly border all around here. So one thing I want to do is get rid of this border and continue working on the page. But there is also one mistake that I made in the previous video which I just want to correct real quick. So go over to CSS and over here where I've set the header, nav, article, section and footer tags to be displayed as block, one tag that I forgot about was our aside tag. So we just need to go ahead and take care of that aside and now that should be displayed as a block as well. Like I said, most newer browsers will actually uh, treat that, these tags as blocks but if you come across an older browser, it might not uh, treat them as older blocks. I mean, as a block, so yeah. Okay. Um, okay, now the next thing I wanted to do was actually get rid of this border. And if we save that now and go over to Firefox and click refresh, uh, we've got that ugly looking border disappearing. Okay, so the one thing that we need to get done in this video is get this navigation moved over to appear next to our logo because uh, right now you know being underneath the logo isn't really that interesting and it'd be nice if we could float all of these actual links next to each other so that it, it would appear home about tutorials and contact instead of them all being underneath each other okay so to do that we're gonna go back to notepad plus plus and I'm gonna open up my header tag over here and underneath my image or actually in my image tag rather not underneath it um, I'm going to give this a class and I'm going to give this a class of logo then I'm also going to go to my nav tag over here and give this a class and I'm going to set this class equal to top underscore nav because this is our top nav and I'm going to leave the rest of these things. But now let's see if we can actually get this nav appear next to our logo. So go back over to CSS and um, we'll select that picture or that image with the class of logo. And I'm going to give that a width of whatever our image width was. So uh, if I open up this over here, there's my image. And I can see that my dimensions are 232 by 100. So uh, let's give that a height of 100 pixels and a width of um, 232 pixels. Okay. And then I'm going to float this to the left. And the same thing for my nav. Let's go ahead and grab that class. Okay and uh, top nav okay and I'm going to float this left as well but I need to figure out now how much space do I have for my navigation because we've given our website or our container a total width of 1000 pixels now I have my logo over here taking up 232 pixels so 1000 minus 232 uh, my math probably isn't that great right now so let's open up my calculator and um, let's see 1000 minus 232 is equal to 768 so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a width of uh, 768 pixels and I guess some of you could probably have done that in your heads and you're probably shouting at your screen right now because I used the calculator but hey uh, so now let's go ahead and actually um, run this in Firefox so click refresh 
and now we have our image fl uh, and our actual um, navigation floated next to each other but we also have this header kind of wrapping around the image so we want to get rid of that now and to do that um, I'm gonna go over to my header over here and I'm gonna actually place in an empty div so I'm just gonna give this a div and I'm gonna end that div off and it's gonna be an empty div but I'm gonna give this div a class of clear now go back to CSS and over I'm not actually sure where to put it but I'm gonna put it up here maybe uh, with the rest of the stuff um, kind of default stuff so actually no let's let's put it uh, just over there just just right there hey okay so select that class of clear and um, we will just give this an attribute of clear both and what that's gonna do is force this header over here to stop wrapping around the floated image and actually appear where we want it to down here so look at that uh, now we have our logo and our links appearing next to each other but our links are still one on top of the other so let's try and see if we can get them to display uh, next to each other and there are two different ways we can do this the first way is to go over to our top nav tag over here but we're gonna select it with child elements so top uh, nav and then we want these list elements over here to actually display next to each other so we need to grab these list elements okay so uh, well, let's go back to CSS over here top nav uh, ul li and what that's gonna do is grab all list items inside of a unordered list inside of the navigation um, and then we're gonna go ahead and style those and I keep minimizing notepad plus plus when I still want to work in it so uh, let's um, just indent over here and we can do this in two different ways so like I said we can um, float these all left so just like that float left and click refresh and as you can see they're now all floated one next to the other um, right next to each other there's absolutely no space between them so if I zoom in you can see there's no space between them now the second way is actually going to leave a little bit of space between them so if I go back to notepad plus plus and instead of saying float left I say display uh, inline block like this okay that's gonna make them all appear one next to the other but as you can see there's a little bit of space between each uh, link so if you guys want to do it that way you can do it that way or you can float them left and uh, actually give them some padding and that's actually what I prefer to do so I prefer to say float left and then I actually prefer to give them a padding so a padding of um, 15 pixels and 20 pixels will do and that means that there's going to be 15 pixels of padding on the top and 20 pixels of padding on the left and the right but for some reason um, this isn't actually going to make the <laughs> uh, links move down well it actually did but not not that much okay okay so uh, <laughs> to actually center these things or get them to be pushed further down um, we're probably just gonna have to increase the padding on the top and the bottom by a little uh, bit so let's make that uh, 25 rather than 15 uh, but of course this is all you know just playing around so uh, click refresh and it's now moved uh, slightly further down but still not quite the center just yet so you know, probably about 30 I'd say maybe 35 should actually do this it might even push it a little bit too far but oh, that's actually perfect so now we have our um, links actually uh, centered with the logo but if you want them all the way down to the bottom then I guess you could just play around with the padding 
until you got it perfectly but I'm gonna leave mine right there where they are and I'm gonna end the video right here and in the next video we'll take a look at how to get our aside section appear next to the actual main content of the web page so that's what you guys have got to look forward to and I will see you guys in the next video as always, don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like or share and I'll see you guys next time.